Hey everyone, what's up, what's new, and what's going on? We are back at set number two of the men's single semifinals event of the 2012 CPB Open. And on the far side of the court, we already know him, but we shall reintroduce him as Jason Hoshu, the teenage sensation, 13 year old national champion, Pan Am champion, and uh, pretty much the champion of every single tournament he's, he's ever entered. Uh, you can always bet on him to always make it to the semifinals and the finals. Uh, Jason Ho Shu. And on the near side of the courts, Nathan Lee. Uh, a guy who I've already uh, done a video for a few months ago. And again, into the semifinals. Both of which looking for a way into the finals. Looking for that golden ticket by winning this match. Uh, Nathan Lee definitely ahead right now because he took the first set. 21-13. Mind you, despite the scoreboard, the game was a lot closer than uh, a lot of other people would think if they were just to look at the scoreboard because up until the 10 or 12 point mark, Jason Hoshu was not only tied, but I, I think he was leading at many points um, in the first part of the first set. But it was just due to a few errors here and there in the latter part of the first sets that Jason Hoshu lost uh, lost the lead and ended up giving a big big cushion for Nathan Lee to work on to finish off the the first set you're def if if there's anything you can count on is that Jason Hoshu is not going to make that same mistake again he's already learned his lesson and he's coming back in the second second set with a vengeance trying to find a way to take the second set to turn this into a three setter so the last set would decide who's going to advance into the finals of the 2012 CPB Badminton Tournaments. And right now, just like in the first set, there's really nothing differentiating these two players. Uh, aside from uh, a difference in style, uh, playing style, definitely Jason Hoshu is usually the one with, the more, en uh, with more energy who has the speed, who has the power to, to maintain an attack in any given rally and uh, Nathan Lee in contrast is the guy who tends to work the rallies a lot more uh, moves his opponents uh, plays plays the softer shots in many occasions and kind of kind of likes to conserve his energy in a lot of the rallies just like there doesn't mind doing uh, doing flicks to to opposite corners Do doesn't mind doing drop shots on, on numerous occasions whereas Jason Hoshu does really like his smash and his smash is just so effective in this matchup right now um, unless it goes into the net just like that um, and it's I mean it's easy to say that Jason Hoshu his smash is what decides the game in this in the second set because we as we saw in the first set his whenever his smashes were on they were just so good um, so tight to the sidelines that Nathan Lee doesn't really have an answer for it but when Jason Hoshu gets tired in the latter part of the set his smashes start start you know going off a little bit as in they start going outside the sidelines they start going into the net and that's when Jason Hoshu starts giving up easy, easy points to Nathan Lee. And when you give up easy points to Nathan Lee, you're not going to get him back. And you're going to have to climb a very, very tough uphill battle to stay in or in the set with Nathan Lee. So let's hope that Jason Hoshu learned his lesson, doesn't make as many mistakes. But if he's going to be forced uh, to the backhand corner like that, He's going to be forced to make mistakes because even if Jason Hoshu got that net shot or got that drop shot back, Nathan Lee was already at the front of the net, ready to cover. And it seems like at 9-5 now with that great body smash, Nathan Lee is looking to finish this match in two sets. Doesn't want to waste any more energy than he re really needs to and doesn't want to take this to a three-setter and in control of the second set right now and actually attacking a lot more than he did in the first set so that's going to be that's going to be something new that we haven't seen from uh, Nathan Lee so far and wow the attacks all <laughs> well they they seem to be working because Nathan Lee now up 10 5 
doubling the points of what Jason Hoshu has and really upping the pace of these uh, of these rallies for the past uh, five or six rallies or so and it's been working to great effect and Jason Hoshu really needs to find his own attack back and that he does great coverage great court coverage in the backhand corner of his court goes for the cross court drop shot and just catches Nathan Lee standing to finally catch up and reduce the lead down to four but will it be enough well if Nathan Lee is going to be making easy mistakes like that it just might be enough now from five down now Jason Sh Sh or Jason Hoshu is three down can he string a few points together he needs three more points to string it back back to even at 10 all and he manages to make one more point there great shot great drive down to the backhand side back of the courts nothing Nathan Lee can do about that and this is gonna get tough string three points together already Jason Hoshu can he continue on with this uh, with this momentum that he has going for the attacks maintaining attacks and a tight net shot here's an opportunity drop shot doesn't work smash doesn't work oh my goodness drive to the body works Nathan Lee knew that it was going out he wanted to take his racket out of the way let that birdie float out but was unable to do so and he looks disappointed he looks well I, I don't know what kind of emotion that is but he's definitely disappointed that he his racket caught the edge of that birdie and wasn't able to get that easy points it was flying out but making up for that is a great smash down to the left sideline and nothing Jason Hoshu can do about that 11-9 at the mid-game interval who's gonna come out ahead I have no idea it's so hard to tell right now both of these two two really great players duking it out and their styles are so different and th their strategies seem to be changing on a constant basis before in the first set Nathan Lee was happy to be completely defensive and didn't really need to attack and that's how he won the set he sta stayed defensive stayed consistent and and won the set but now he's changed it up and also got himself a really good uh, really big lead but somehow Jason Hoshu managed to claw back his way uh, with a bunch of stringing a bunch of really great shots together and to see who's gonna take the lead is is just this is just an interesting game right here and Nathan Lee diving for that last shot going for the cross court which worked but he was nowhere in position to cover the next shot Jason Hoshu with an easy easy put away and now tied at 11 all oh, this can't get any closer right here great driving great driving clear by Nathan Lee right there catching Jason Hoshu completely out of position wasn't anywhere near it it's the first time I've seen a clear uh, work so well at this level but Jason Hoshu with an answer of his own big smash down the line again 12 all how how tight can this be I have no idea here's the chance uh, that is his drop shot and followed with another tight drop shot Oh, finally, finally, Jason Hoshu does two clears in a row. When's the last time we saw that? He was so insistent on attacking earlier in the sets. And, and now he seems to be content with clearing. So a change in strategy right there, change in momentum. And the clears seem to work because he got himself one easy point. Jason Hoshu now up 13-12, up by one point. Can he continue with this? Remember, just a few minutes ago, he was down by five and it looked like he was down and out. And now, maybe after attacking so much, Nathan Lee is now just a little bit more tired than he than he wanted to be. Because that, that shot was clearly in, a clear misjudgment by Nathan Lee and giving Jason Hoshu a two-point lead? This is insane. Can Jason Hoshu continue? with this lead yes he can because now he's extended it to three points at 15 12 he was not leading for the majority of this set but found a way found a way to tire out Nathan Lee 
and found a way to stay consistent now, not making as many mistakes. Well, uh, Nathan Lee coming back with a body shot, followed it up to the front of the net to finish it off, um, at least closing it back down to two points. But this is exciting. Can Nathan Lee uh, continue on and finish the second set and win this match? Or will Jason Hoshu find the energy to finish this set and take it to a tiebreaker? Third set tiebreaker, that would be an amazing, amazing match to watch. And now a change of birdies. Jason Hoshu still up by three. Can he maintain this lead? This is going to be a very, very interesting end to the second, uh, second set. Both of them have very, very definite game plans now. Both of them want to be attacking just like that. Nathan Lee going for the big attack to the forehand side of Jason Hoshu to great effect. Narrowing it, uh, the, the points back down to two. His deficit is down to two now. And it's up to Jason Hoshu to maintain that consistency. And up to Nathan Lee to not give up the easy points like that. He's doing exactly the exact mistake that Jason Hoshu did earlier in, or in the last set. And uh, he doesn't want to do that. Jason Hoshu's already learned from that set that you know that's the wrong strategy to, to, to use. Stay consistent. Keep everything in and make sure you work your opponents. So, yeah, a three point lead by Jason Hoshu at 17 14. And this is a long, drawn out rally. Neither of them are giving up any any leeway for for the, uh, for their opponents. And they're both keeping it very, very consistent. Oh my goodness. Throwing the racket, Nathan Lee. After ending that, well, okay, um, the, the video cut off just a little bit, but now we're at 18-14, Jason Hoshu serving. Four point lead, uh, a complete mirror, uh, I guess a mirror image of what we saw in the first set, except uh, instead of Jason Hoshu making the mistakes, Nathan Lee is the one making the mistakes now and giving up the, uh, the second set. And Nathan Lee's really got to uh, find a way to claw back. And Jason Hoshu is uh, actually helping him a, a little bit with that uh, very costly mistake over there. But with a three-point lead, can Jason Hoshu, or with still a four-point lead, can Jason Hoshu still maintain uh, maintain that that lead to the end of the set? He only needs two points, but Nathan Lee really attacking now, really going for all the big shots now, especially those body shots, the safe body uh, body smashes. Um, wow. There you go, such quickness to the front of the court. Narrows the, uh, the lead down to two. Nathan Lee, you know he wants this. You know he, he wants to save energy and keep this at two sets and not take this to a third set tiebreaker. So what can he do with the serve right now? Oh, great return by Jason Hoshu to give him game points, set points at 2017. Can he, can he finish this off? Let's see what happens in this rally. Clears it out, 21-17, we're going to a third set. See ya.